We are so fortunate today because I've been able to snag David McMahon in his incredibly busy schedule. This man is traveling all over the country, and he is with us right now through Zoom, uh, here to talk about Pocket Mouse Protector and all the fun things that he does. So, David, hi! Hi! <laughs> what's, what's Pocket Mouse Protector? Uh, it's this thing you stick in your pocket and you put little mice in it. You know, it's best if you put them in upside down so you can pull them in out by the tail. I'll tell you, the little picture you put together, that little mouse is going to steal the show anyway. So, I mean, I don't even know why I'm bothering showing up. Well, I bought you a plane ticket, so I'd like you to show up if you could. Portland, <laughs> here I come. I hear there's good eating. I hear there's cool sights. I hear there's always cool weather. I hear it's never quite hot in Portland. Is that true? Right. It's it's 85 degrees today. But is it hot? <laughs> like, is it? Like, yeah. And fit? Yeah, for right? us, for us, I mean, we're used to, you know, mid 50s. So anything above 70 where, you know, people are running around completely naked. Oh, oh well, it's perfect. The camera's rolling. Yes, I know. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I love it here. <laughs> I'm going to reveal some secrets here. OK, let's reveal. OK, you're you're the one who contacted me. I did. I, I must admit, I had, I had no idea who you were when you were reaching out to me on Facebook. And you were persistent. I mean, you were <laughs> persistent. And at first, I was kind of like, oh, God, who's this person from Florida? <laughs> oh, what what does he want? I live on the other side of the country. <laughs> Why would he ever want to be involved in any of my movies at all? And so I first want to know... How many other directors are you currently creating? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me just check my messenger. <laughs> I, I want to know, you know, is your is your like is your grinder like full of all these or or you know, you know meat? <laughs> <laughs> when you say I'm persistent, the way you say it implies that I'm like you know obnoxiously persistent, but I'm just what's the word? I'm enthusiastic. I'm enthusiastic. I like to identify people that I want to work with. And I like to, I like to just keep on them and wear them down until they finally agree to put me in one of their movies. And so far, it's a technique that's worked for me. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'll say. I mean, I so it, it, ladies and gentlemen, David McMahon has got the most massive IMDB compared to. Far, far exceeding celebrities that you've heard of out there in the world. So, I mean, even in the in the video that I cut together talking about Pocket Mouse initially, I did a scroll of his credits. I was wondering what that huge. said. <laughs> it is huge. You you have been working constantly, constantly. You you have the actor's dream to be doing well, all jobs i love the fact and like i didn't know all this stuff until we got to talk but i mean the fact that you do all this stuff basically on your own like you're you're your one-man crew oh <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you can pay all of these people to work on your crew <laughs> <laughs> no that's okay uh my devoted film fans know that i'm a i'm a, a no, solo but, act that's that's so amazing. It's like I love I love people who have that energy, and it's like I, I I don't know. I, I and I just knew from when I first started talking to you that you and I would click really well. So it's like I, I had to keep on you. I had to keep on you. You keep using this word. You had to keep on me and keep and wear me down. So you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Dude, we're making a movie where that's what happens. There it is. See, it, it has paid off. It has paid off, and it's going to be glorious. Glorious. And there's my ticket. My ticket is on the wall behind you, so I am coming. <laughs> there it is. There's his ticket. There it is. <laughs> Yay. And we, we can thank the GoFundMe folks. The, yes, the GoFundMe author. people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You, you guys, oh my God, it's, you know, it's amazing. Because, you know, with the 100 plus movies I've made, um, <laughs> Every time I make one, I am just in awe that people will will open up their their wallets and help. And it's like it's such a I don't know. It's just it's it's really cool because there's there's a lot of other things you could be giving your money to, but 
like this is just ah, I don't know. I, I love I love when people invest in you. Like I feel like it's really really special, and it just makes you want to do a better job. It just makes you want to do the best possible movie you can. So I, I you know thank you all. Thank you all for what you've already donated, and I I hope we can count on you for some more because uh you know this boy likes to eat, and uh, we're gonna need some. Uh, <laughs> We're going to need some extra pizzas or something on set. I don't know. You know, when I'm talking to people and I, and I hear the joy that people get out of movies that I make, I'm like, yeah, this is a trade-off. They make it possible to make the movies and I deliver a movie that gives them entertainment or opens their eyes. Or in, Well, in this particular case, it's going to give them something that will really open their eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll open some eyes. I'm sure we will open some eyes. <laughs> I will tell you, um, there was not a casting couch involved because we're 3,000 miles apart, but um, I've seen the goods. <laughs> and we're just fine, everyone. It's going to be an enjoyable movie. All okay? Right, all, right. <laughs> all right. So no more modesty on your part. Okay. But it's part of my charm. So, so all yeah, the way through this this uh, year-long uh, courting that we've been yes. doing. <laughs> yes. Um, so I've been running the script by David through the process of writing the script. So uh, just as I had wrote the character for Yelena, and I had Yelena in mind in writing her character. And if you've seen the the interview that Yelena and I did together, then you heard her character voice that she's going to be in this movie. Which was totally the voice I was going to use for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do the voice like this for Barry, and now I can't do it. <laughs> I'm very mad. <laughs> You're right. Too bad. She beat you to the punch. Oh, Yelena! You know, as I, I was working on the ideas, and I was floating these ideas past you going back last summer, and then, you know, updating you on the progress of the script, which for a very long time, there was no progress on the script. Um, and, but I was keeping you in the loop because I was like, I don't want to lose you. I don't, I don't want to lose you. I want to make sure that, you know, I'm not just, you know, jerking you around or jerking you off. Yes. And so, uh, that's why I kept you in the loop with everything that was going on. You are the very first person that I showed the script to. Oh, you, you saw it before. Cat. Not even your cat. You didn't show it to your cat. Come on. <laughs> My cats don't care. <laughs> Uh, he's just hanging out down there he's lazy like me but all the way through this too i i mean on honestly i had these questions for you and i kept asking you why were you willing to willing to because we're still in this world that has got a lot of homophobia to, just sure. to be honest sure. um and there's homophobia among your own fan base sure People who absolutely love you in the movies that you've been making. So I've questioned all along, you know, why Why is it that you were willing to uh, broach the topic of making a gay theme film? I am, uh, I've always been a fan of the roles that kind of take you out of your comfort zone. I, I have applied that to horror early on because I didn't think I'd be doing horror. And then it's like, all right, I'll try it. It's not my comfort zone, but I did it. It worked out well. So I happen to think that this, the fact that I'll be outside of my comfort zone a bit is actually going to make me work even harder. Um, no pun intended. Um, but <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I, that, that's kind of like the, the stuff that, again, no pun intended, that gets me off about acting. I love the fact that you get to explore these different personas and different lifestyles and different everything and you get to just funnel it through into this new character that you're creating your task with making um hopefully you know that'll be in line with what your vision for the character is too uh and if you know if you love dave mcmahon you're gonna love dave mcmahon regardless so if you're only liking me because i'm doing horror then you're not a true fan because every now and then you gotta again mix things up are your normal conversations peppered with all these sexual innuendos? It's God, just, you know, just, I'm starting to think that they might be. Do I do that all the time? God. Because, I mean, you're talking like, you know, like yeah. a, a gay-themed yeah. actor. Maybe I do. <laughs> <laughs> My God. But, but yeah, we're going to make some magic, Paul. We're going to make some magic, and it's going to be, it's gonna be a, a, a great... A great. I I cannot wait to meet the rest of the cast. I mean, I have not met them. I've only seen Yelena in your interview with her, and she's absolutely adorable. 
So even though she stole the voice, but um, yeah, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be great. The one that you're filling around with, uh, the character is played by Eleanor O'Brien. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing an interview with Eleanor. If you don't know Eleanor, uh, she runs a production company called Dance Naked Productions. <laughs> <laughs> she is a very bossy, body positive, uh, free spirited, uh, progressive person. She loves bodies of all shapes and sizes, um, and she is very sex proactive. You know, I, I'm a little bummed that you felt the need to cast other actors, Paul, because I I thought, if anything, my real proof that I was versatile. <laughs> There I go again with another word. Um, but <laughs> couldn't I just play all the roles? I mean, <laughs> no. But, you know, Paul, well, it's like I have, I mean, I have different looks. So I could do something like this for, for one of them. And, you know, and then if you don't like that, then I could do something like, oh, I don't know. They have all kinds of fun. Look at this. Little, look at that. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's well, you know that's, what? You've raised enough money. You've got my plane ticket. You don't need any more money. I'm already coming. Oh my god, there I go again. You you can't do the movie by yourself. We Seriously. think of Yolanda, think of Eleanor. I know we must bring them all in. We must feed them. We must love them. We must give them stipends to we compensate must give them. them. Stipends because otherwise they won't want to work with me. But 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 it's not just that. Think of Blake. Blake. Oh, is that Blake? We see Blake. Where's Blake? How oh, Blake. could you pass up Blake? Your mere dollars can feed Blake for one week. <laughs> the price of a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I will go full Sally Struthers right now if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll put the blonde wig back on. There we go. <laughs> Oh. There's not much I won't do for a little food and respect. Remember that, Paul. So, <laughs> oh no, oh dear, oh my god, oh. Oh. Well, I have I'll to respect you. you too. Am I supposed to respect you in the morning? I'm, I'm, I'm in a good place now. I'm in a good place. I'm excited about this project. I have other projects down the rest of the year that I'm excited about, and I, I'm just. I'm not going to let people pee in my Cheerios anymore. I am just going to enjoy the beauty of filmmaking and I'm going to surround myself with positive people who want the same thing I do. And if you don't, then get out of my way because I'm going right through you. So that's it, Paul. And I think Paul, you and I, we're, we're meshing. You've got that. You, I, I, are you a douche? I don't think you're a douche. You seem pretty <laughs> even keel. Well, no, you're not even keel. That's probably why I like you. Um, but <laughs> We're going to be great. We're going to be great. You're the yeah, people well, I like, Paul. You're the people. You're, you're not going to know until you're here and then you're trapped. <laughs> <laughs> you pointed this out to me. You figured out my little, my little <laughs> trick here. And that is that there are two sex scenes in this movie with us together. And the first one is on the first day. And the second one's on the last day. <laughs> So if you don't respect me planet. after the second day, then I don't care. I'm putting you on a plane. <laughs> That's I really got what I wanted. It was good for me. <laughs> That's very smart thinking, boss. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you know, I'm ruthless. Ruthless. <laughs> it's all about the movie. It is. It is. It is. Hey, David, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I I cannot tell you how excited I am that you're coming out to make this movie with me. I um can't. I, the movie is a hoot. I loved writing the script, thinking of you all the way through this. Um, I think your character is a, a an absolute blast. It's brilliant. The script is phenomenal. I, I laughed the entire way through that script. So it's this is this is going to be a blast. I cannot wait to get out there. So thanks, all right, everybody. <laughs> I will see you in June. See you soon. <laughs>